you're watching Star Wars Entertainment TV. Hi, this is Tyrone Tan with Star Wars Entertainment TV, and we're here at the AFM American Film Market here in Santa Monica, California, for the Cinema Epoch Launch Party. So check us out here as we interview a lot of celebrities and the guests here that attend the Cinema Epoch Launch Party here at the AFM on Star Wars Entertainment TV. Hi, this is Tyrone Tan with Star Wars Entertainment TV, and we're here with my dear friend. Bai Ling, now, how Bai, are you? Good, it's great seeing you. Thank you, nice to see you too. Now Bai Ling, what brings you out here for the audience? What brings you out here to this wonderful event? Well, guess. Yeah. That's me, Summer Cup 2. And I really like the movie, it's action comedy. And my role just kick ass, really good. So I'm proud of it, proud of the director, proud of the movie. And so I'm here to support and promote. Summer Cup 2. You will enjoy it. It's really fun. I was laughing. I was surprised because I was kind of nervous. Am I good in it or do I have a large part in it? When I watch it, oh my part is just like so good. Yeah, no, I went to the premiere and you did an awesome job and you, uh, the action, everything was great and it, you did a fabulous job as always. Thank you. Now, what do you like about it, my part? I like the fact that your martial arts was there and then the kind of character you're playing, it was a little evil. It was you know, if you know her, she's very sweet. And it was kind of the opposite of what you kind of do. And it's a little bit, I've seen some characters that you played similar, but this way, this one, it was a little bit more, because you were very more powerful, in my opinion, uh, than a lot of the characters that you played. Would you agree, or? Yes, I think uh, I give her many colors, and she's uh, dominant in a bad way, but very passionate, and very sexy, and very subtle, very manipulative. And also very unpredictable. I like the many colors as a female villain, which we don't see often like that. So I'm pleased with the part because it's, she's interesting to watch, not just purely bad, but there's um, feminality in it. Well, what would you what do you think that made this movie? What attracted you to this film? Was it the because it's had a, it was a there was one before this, but when you read the script, was it like was it the character or was it just something that you wanted to be a part of because of such a fanfare? I watched the first one because uh, Greg, the director, asked me to watch it if I like it. So I watched it. I was laughing. I like it. It's kind of a old style, but really real, kind of funny. And I like because that's not part of my culture, and to me it's very refreshing. And I la I was laughing, so I think, oh, it must be good. And then Greg, the director, said, I'm going to write a really cool role for you. So when I read it, I really like it because I feel like I can do something. I can be like an otherworldly power as a female um, villain, which I never have. So I, I just jump into it. I had a great time. And I think she's very stylish as well. I just got passion. So everything I do with honesty, with passion, with kind of unpredictable, unpredictable sexuality and mystery. Awesome. Now, that's awesome. So you've been on my show before, and we talked about inspiring others. This show is about inspiring others. What inspirational messages can you give to someone out there that maybe wants to do what you do, become an actress, or just follow their dreams in general? Thank you. I enjoyed the show. I was a guest on his show. And he, maybe he's Asian, he really gets me and kind of uh, understand me, also have compassion, and also kind of proud in all things, and I feel very real, so I really hope his audience will support him, because he's a real person here. And inspiration, I think you have to really find what is your gift, what that you do the best. It's not because you want fame, you want money, because that will lead you to nowhere. All this fame, money, will reward you for your good work. So I, I, I suggest you find where your heart is. What you can give the most is about giving. I think the gift for us is not for us to keep, but to give. But you have to find the honest, truth gift you can give. Then you'll be a superstar. Awesome. Now, we, obviously, we want to help promote Samurai Cup, too. Any other projects, websites? You got an audience right here. Yes, if you follow me at Real Biling and Twitter, Instagram, or officialbiling.com or Facebook, I've been like shooting another few, I was in Russian, shoot a movie called uh, Maxim Impact, then it's just uh, shooting right now a film called Better Criminal. I'm gonna shoot another comedy, I have so many movies. So if you follow me, also I have fat-free, sugar-free cookies for you. It's very healthy, very inspirational, and tastes so good, delicious. Awesome. Follow me. Well, I always wanna wish you the best of luck. God bless you with everything, it's always great seeing you. Again, this is Tyrone Tan with my dear friend. 
Thank you, Smiley. And you're watching Star Wars Entertainment. Enjoy. Dot TV. So check out more episodes as we interview a lot more guests here that attend the Cinema Epoch launch party here at the AFM on Star Wars Entertainment. Dot TV.